It's dripping again, though. I hear gurgling. Water all over the place up here. There's water like up in here, all up through here. There's water just everywhere in there. Yeah. It's like spray. Well, we have another leak. Yes, unfortunately. And just like every other problem we've had here and there on this RV, there were lessons learned. Things that we made mistakes that kind of exacerbated the problem and some lessons learned. So we'll be sure to share those with you. What's funny is we were in the middle of filming something for our friends, Stacy and Phil, of you, me, and the RV. Mm -hmm. And so the moment that we saw the leak happening was caught on camera. It's dripping. What is that? That's really awesome. That's great. We got a leak in their underbelly. We're leaving tomorrow. Baby, do we have another leak? First things first, we had to figure out where the leak was coming from. Yeah. <laughs> there could be so many places it's coming from in the RV. Because it was all over the place. It's dripping again, though. Chad, I hear gurgle. I hear gurgling. Yeah, this doesn't sound normal. You mean turn it off? Yeah. But I don't know why there's water all over the place up here. There's water like up in here, all up through here. Well, how can we... I don't know where that line goes. There's... It's wet. I can't tell. Some of this might just be condensation from cold water. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Want to tell them your thoughts, these peeps? My thoughts. Well, what you just said to me, yeah. Okay, well. You know, what's funny is we were just filming our RV advice and we talked about patience and understand there's going to be things that break and we come out to find water leaking out. Be prepared to fix stuff yourselves. Yeah. You do a lot of repairs yourself. And mobile RV techs are a great resource. Bingo. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, but, but what we forgot to say is that the stuff usually breaks at the most inconvenient times. Yeah. It's definitely something to do with our black tank flush line. And that line just goes straight from the Nautilus panel, I think just straight to the black tank. And you know, I don't know exactly what goes on inside there. I think there's a little nozzle of spray that just sprays in there. My only thought is we're flushing this with our well water here at our cabin. And maybe some sediment got in there and blocked it and then the back pressure the, that line doesn't usually have any back pressure because it's just a straight line. Mm -hmm. There's a line that goes up, like up to here, which is weird. I don't know why it goes up here, but maybe it goes up here, then over to the black tank. I don't know. But there's water just everywhere in there. Yeah. It's like sprayed. The inspector tested our water and found nothing bad in it, but that doesn't mean they didn't find any sediment. sediment. Yeah. Well, that's weird. That's like, the back of our shower. That's the back of our shower. This must be a, a relief valve that goes to the black tank flush or something. Yeah, it's all wet. Is it? Uh-huh. So it's from the shower? No, it's, it's still the black tank flush, but I think the black tank flush Water line, detected. Yeah. The alarm. Thanks. Thanks. It was a little, a little <laughs> late. You know, it could be this check valve, too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you could go turn on the black tank flush nozzle, I'm going to watch back here. Okay. Okay, guys. We're supposed to be going to dinner with his parents. Instead, we have to do this. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything catastrophic, but it definitely is wet. You, you can turn it back off. Hear it? It sounds like... Yeah. It, 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 it yeah. sounds like bubbling. Yeah, that's not normal. It's not normal, right? No. That's what I'm saying. How's my hair? <laughs> <laughs> so we have determined the source of the leak now. Um, and I think it's going to be a pretty easy fix. And it only affects us when we're using the black tank flush. But now I just need to assess the damage down here and see how much water damage was done. It looks to be like just some water splatters. She's kind of all over the place though. And since the origin is way up there, it uh, got on the kitchen floor and stuff too. So I'm gonna go start there and just start wiping up water and see what we got. Daisy, did you do it? Did you cause the leak while we were gone? No, you were with us. 
All right, so yeah, down here in the corner, I noticed a little bit. One nice thing about these blue shop towels, these things here, is they're really good at soaking stuff up, but also giving you an indication. See how it gets a little dark there? So that's good, there's not much water there. Didn't really get over this way at all. So here's what I think happened, or what I, we've deduced has happened. What you just, deduced. What I, what I deduced. Let me, let, me, let me climb out here. Yeah, you don't look very comfortable. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? It's awesome. Yeah, it's I mean, like you, a, you are like flexible. A, you do it's stretch. It's like a secret little cubby hole. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so coming in from the Nautilus system, the black line goes up behind the shower to a check valve and then back down. I don't know why it has to go up so high. I think it's just because it's once... So they could put it behind that panel so it's accessible. Also, just kind of the law of nature's and, and the law of nature of... <laughs> Long day. Just, you know, gravity. So it has to go up and down. But that check valve started leaking and then it dribbled its way back down the line, which is why it's kind of spread out yeah. and just kind of all over the place. Now, it did hit the linoleum and then roll off on top of the black tank and then down under the belly, just like other leaks have done back here. So I'm like, why didn't we get an alert from Ring yeah. on our sensor? I went back through our alerts at 3.33, which is not too long after we went over and started filming, we got an alert. Nothing like it happening in the middle of T24. Yeah, we got to travel tomorrow, but luckily it's nothing that's going to prevent us from traveling. Yes, Tara nailed it why on the first try. Why are you surprised? Well, you, I mean, you just right off the bat knew exactly where it was. That's because I saw it happen with <laughs> Tom and Cherie from EnjoyTheJourney.life. So I was like, I wonder if this is the same problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember Tom did a video on the secret compartment right back here, which is where the thing is. So we knew it was something to do with the black tank flush line because it only happened while we were doing that. So ordered a couple of these to have one as a spare. Good to have spares. Put them in valve replacement day. So I got a couple of these. I got one to replace it and one spare. And we're going to replace the valve in here and then do a little test. Before I replace it, I'm going to put the camera up in here and see if we can actually catch it leaking. I mean, I know it's leaking there, uh, but I just wanted to see if I can see it like spraying or doing something crazy. I may just cut a little further down here so I can get to the bottom of it. I'm gonna go put water pressure on the system and see what we see. So I wasn't getting any leakage, but we have a lot better water pressure here than when the incident happened. So I backed off of the flow a little bit to see if this thing would not work with lower pressure. And that's what's happening. I can, you can see water is leaking out of it. So I'm gonna go shut the water off and then replace this and then try the same test. I'm gonna get some zip ties to wrap around these so I don't lose them down into the belly there because that would suck. got the new vacuum breaker check valve in now. What I'm really curious about is uh, do these things have a problem with low pressure going through them in general or was this one just old and bad and just not working very well? So what I'm going to do is turn on the water flush uh, full force for a little while, uh, let it run with high pressure, make sure there are no leaks. Uh, I'm gonna, then I'm going to back off the pressure have the low pressure simulated again and see if I get a leak. If I do, then these valves just do not like low pressure. Since the low pressure test leaked immediately last time, I feel pretty confident 
that it is a bad vacuum breaker. Uh, it's just interesting though that it did not show this issue or problem until we were flushing on very low pressure. Let's button it back up. I think we're good. So it was really cool that I was able to dial it back and test it low pressure. And I tested it high and low pressure. Everything worked great. Buttoned it all back up. And However, that's not the end. Well, you guys, if you remember when we had the leak from our hot water check valve, it soaked our insulation so bad. So you had to replace it all, which means opening up the belly and taking it all out and replacing it all. And I was afraid that that was what was going on in the belly of our RV again. Yeah, at the very least, I was hopeful that since it was a low pressure, very slow leak, that it didn't accumulate a lot of water down it there. It seemed like a worse leak though when it was coming out the bottom yeah. than, than it was, I yeah. guess. Even though we're hopeful, you can't just rely on hope. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it comes to things like mold growing in the belly of your RV. Yeah. So unfortunately, this part was super easy. Dropping the belly is the hard part, but it had to be done. Now the more difficult part is going to be getting underneath here, uh, pulling the belly, dropping it down to see if we have any water damage. So I've got water coming out, but it's coming out from inside the corrugation and not from on top of it. That's weird. It's coming out from here. That's bizarre. But the insulation on top is dry. So I think we got pretty lucky here. I mean, quite honestly, it wouldn't be much more work to replace the insulation once you get the belly all dropped. But you can see all the insulation we put in here, the last time we had a bad leak down here, is all nice and white and fluffy. And I got the endoscope, put it up in there so I can see way back in there, and it all looks good. So that's awesome. So I'm just gonna button this back up and this particular repair will be done. Isn't that one of your favorite things? To oh. drop the chloroplast? Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> I think what saved us was our little pinholes that we had down there. They're not pinned, they're, they're drilled holes. But when we had our last leak, I put some holes in our low spots. And I think that allowed it to drain and not accumulate down there. But we had to check. Because we don't want mold growing in that insulation underneath our bedroom. So that was a, a big concern for me. Yeah. And I didn't capture it this time, but I had lots of questions the last time we dropped the Coroplast on how to get that button back up because it's it's a pain because you got you can't do one side because then the other side's too short. And then I found the easiest way is to use a box or a stool or something along those lines and slide it up the middle and then go side to side, side to side, side to side. <laughs> so you and, know I asked him if he needed any help and he said no. I like to work solo. I know but they're gonna say, well, why didn't Tara help you? <laughs> he didn't say he needed my help. No, we even had people come by and offer to help us mm -hmm. that were in the same RV mm -hmm. park, and I just like to do it myself. Okay. I'm just a lone wolf like that. It's particular. <laughs> we did learn a couple lessons from this leak. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Uh, number one is don't leave your RV completely yeah. <laughs> when you're flushing the black tank. I mean, we were at the cabin, uh, but we were filming something for another video, and we had our phones on silent so mm -hmm. that they wouldn't interrupt us filming and missed all the alerts yeah. from the ring water detector, detection mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah, we were originally we were a bit kind of peeved. Why didn't we get our alerts? This <laughs> happened two hours ago. Flush water line. detected. Thanks. Thanks, it was a little, <laughs> a little late. But it did alert us. We were just too dumb to look at it. We weren't dumb, we were busy. We were busy. But don't leave your RV completely and turn your phone on silent. Also, get those water sensors because that would have saved us the trouble of dropping the core also, flush though, for sure. Don't you time it typically when you're doing a flush? Yeah. So I do two types of flushes. One is with the valve closed and that one you definitely want a timer for because if you overfill your black tank and explode it, it's a bad day. Oh. <laughs> so I always set the timer. I always tell Siri, hey, set a timer for 15 minutes and then I go out and dump it. But there's another part of the flush where I just let it run and run and run. And sometimes I'll come in and let that run for like half an hour, just to make sure it gets everything out of there. But it in ran. this case, we, we left and went to the cabin and I thought, no big deal. It's our own well water and our own septic. We'll just let it go. Bad idea. 
I was really pretty surprised to see there was no water down there. What was strange was that there was water inside the corrugated part of the coroplast. I guess uh, maybe that was what from the holes that you had drilled in there? Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of is the hole saved us because it let the water drain slowly instead of building up and soaking it our insulation. It looked like it was a lot coming out, mm -hmm. but it was just coming through those holes, I guess. Even if you haven't had any issues, go look at your low points under there and maybe put just a couple of, you know, three-eighths inch holes in there for water to drain. Cause I was going to say, make them small because you don't want those critters using the, those holes to get in, up into the underbelly. Yeah, very true. I don't like critters, you know that. <laughs> no. The other tip is you might want to get one of these and have it on hand as a spare. You know we did a whole spare parts video. I didn't have one of these. Amazon Prime and all, you know, two days later and we had it and there was no problem really anyhow. Nope. But hopefully we don't have another what's leaking video anytime <laughs> soon. Yeah, we appreciate you guys watching. Please click the like button and subscribe and we will see you next time.